Hi, I am Angelo Nico Katapang, a product applications engineer of analog devices, working on circuits from the lab reference designs. And today, I have here in my desk the assembled CN0503 optical measurement platform already set up with the same LEDs as according to the user guide. And I also have here the cuvette holder already assembled with everything inside, just the lens, the beam splitter, and even the cuvette magnet. So I also have here two liquid samples, distilled water and tonic water from a commercial brand. You can check the entire project source files upon GitHub or you can access them through analog.com inside the design support package. First, we will have to load the hex file to the ADA Cup 3029. You can use the pre-compiled hex file in the debug or release folder or you can build it yourself using CrossCore Embedded Studio. For instructions on building a hex file, check the link below. The LED on the ADA Cup 3029 blinks repeatedly when you're flashing the hex file or debugging using CrossCore. So now we're setting up the CN0503 measurement platform. To start, I'll show you how basic fluorescence works. Tonic water, which contains quinine, exhibits fluorescence when excited by 365 nanometer light. I have temporarily set the CN0503 to continuously sample so that we'll see the different LEDs working. You can observe that when I directly place the tonic water sample in the 365 nanometer light of CN0503's channel 1, the liquid inside fluoresces at a different wavelength. However, when I place the distilled water sample directly in the path, fluorescence does not occur. To control the CN0503, we'll be using Python scripts found in the scripts folder of the project source. Before performing a measurement, we'll have to configure the channel we'll be using. I'll be configuring channel 1 in fluorescence mode using this basic command. When you enter the command, you'll have to select the COM port that the device is using. To find the correct one, open Device Manager and check the Serial Ports section. The script will then prompt you for baseline calibration as well as the calibration of the two sensor inputs in every channel. However, we do not need to do this for basic measurements. The script is also capable of saving the results of the configuration for future use. We don't need to do this right now since we skipped calibration. Now we'll measure the fluorescence of tonic water. Mount the cuvette holder to CN0503's channel 1 and insert the cuvette with the tonic water sample. Now that everything is set up, we can perform measurements using this command. The script allows us to specify the output data type and the number of samples to read. For this demo, we'll be using the absolute ratio output of the two input intensities with 10 samples. There are other output data types and the link below to the wiki user guide will discuss them in detail. The script will ask again for the device serial port. When it is done reading out all the samples, there is an option to plot all the measurements. The plot shows the absolute ratio of the two input intensities for every sample. It is auto-scaled to fit the entire curve. The CN0503's high precision can easily be seen in the range of y-axis values in the plot. So now, we'll repeat the same procedure for the distilled water sample.
So how do we interpret the measured data of the CN0503? First of all, the absolute ratio is the ratio of the ADC measurement of the first input, the fluorescent light, and the ADC measurement of the second input, the incident light, minus a threshold. This also explains why for the distilled water sample, the absolute ratio obtained is negative. We can use the inverse of this ratio in a rearranged Beer-Lambert equation to get the concentration of quinine in grams per liter. To do this, we'll need the molar extinction coefficient of quinine, the molar mass of quinine, and the depth of the sample in centimeters, which is, in our case, 1 centimeter. If you factor all these into the equation, we'll get the concentration of quinine as 82.4 milligrams per liter. Commercially available tonic water brands have at most 83 milligrams of quinine in every 1 liter bottle. This means that CN0503 measurements are not just precise, but are also highly accurate. So that sums up how to perform basic fluorescence measurements using the CN0503 platform. For more details about the entire kit and other measurements it is capable of performing, visit the URL shown. Again, thanks for watching.